Hello everyone, how are you? I have here yet another video on expressions and this time we're going to be drawing some angry expressions. Now if you landed here out of nowhere, this is one of a series of videos on how to draw expressions. So if you just want to learn some angry expressions, then you can keep on watching. If you want to know some more about it and other expressions, go to the playlist and watch it from the beginning. This is just my recommendation. I have here my small sketch, so I have a base to draw my expressions on. And here I have my reference, my character, Jean Lilo. So for this one, we're going to start with annoyed. And here we have a toddler quite annoyed. She looks like she just learned it's time for bed and she's not having it. We have here our eyes, right? Always more or less in the same place. Now, the thing that we have different here from other expressions, the eyebrows. So the eyebrows, instead of being like this, or even in this direction like we had on the set expressions, here we're going to have something going towards the floor. So when drawing an angry expression, most of the times you'll want your eyebrows pointing to the floor. Without anything else, you kind of already feel that angry expression there, right? I, I, every time you see these eyebrows really close to the eyes, you immediately have that annoyed feeling at least. So eyebrows really important for this expression. And then we got the mouth. So we got here the mouth curving down and then a pout. The upper lip, we almost do not see it. When we make a pout, we bring our bottom lip to the front to show how displeased we are. These are the main things for a very uh, light, annoyed expression. Let's see an example from a cartoon. So we got here Toph from The Last Airbender. And of course, we, ha we take some liberties when, when drawing cartoon things, right? When we're not going for a very realistic style. And here we have it. We have again our eyebrows. So something's still stuck, right? So we have our eyebrows pointing towards the floor. We have our eyes right here, the nose, nothing different. And then we got our pout. Now the pout is not in the front of the face. It's going a bit sideways. There we go. But still we got that arch pointing downwards. So the rules are always the same. The rules, more like the guidelines, are always the same, but when drawing it, we can exaggerate things a bit more. So with that out of the way, let's put this into practice. So I have here my sketch. I'm going to add some transparency to it, just so you see all the other face features a bit better. So I'm going to draw the eyes as I, as I usually do, right? So these are Jin eyes going to go ahead and draw her nose as well. And now let's see how things changes when I draw my eyebrows differently. And there we go. We're, we already have a very different expression. Without the eyebrows, Jean seemed perfectly happy as she usually is. But now adding my eyebrows pointing to the floor, the whole expression changes right away. All we are missing now is our mouth. So I'm going to make an arch going downwards. I'm trying to decide if I want to put it in the middle or if I want just like Toph going to the other side. And I think this works really well. Doing something like this. Yeah, I like this. I like having the pouth a bit to the side. It shows the annoyance even more. All right, so I'm going to finish this one up. I'm going to fast forward this a bit. And right next, we're going to look at our next expression. All right, so here we are. We got our Noijin, which is already quite funny because I never can imagine my character or this character in specific angry in any way. So this is a fun one. Angry expressions are always quite fun in my opinion. Our next one is an angry expression. Let's call it just that. We had annoyed and now we're going for the actual angry. Again, as you can see, we have our eyebrows pointing downwards. So what can we do to strengthen up an expression? So one thing we can do is work with the eyebrows. So 
the more we tilt them, the angrier your character will look. Not only that, but the closer they are to the eyes, the stronger the expression is as well. So one thing you can work a lot is with the eyebrows. Just very little differences and nuances will strengthen up the expression you're drawing. Now we got here our nose again and we got a mouth. Our mouth here is kind of open, showing our teeth, but not in a good way. She's angry. Uh... I like to draw pointy teeth when it, comes, when it comes to angry expressions, but again, as you can see, our mouth is going a bit downwards. Okay, so we got here another example, again with more of a cartoon style, and as you can see, the eyebrows are very close together, as you can see, and close to the eyes. And then, here we go, we got here our mouth curved downwards, even if it's partially opened, and then we got the teeth. Now this is, I, I use this image because it specifically uses the pointy teeth and I think this is something really fun that we can use when drawing a angry expression. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So again, I'm going to go here to my sketch and I'm going to start drawing on top of it. I always like to see this transformation. So here we got, we have nice Jean, nice and happy Jean. Not anymore. She's very angry now. So as you can see, I tilted the arrows even more and made them closer to the eyes. Jin is definitely not happy anymore. All right. And now for the mouth. So it's curved downwards, right? We can make kind of a trapezium shape just like this. This is a fun shape to use. And now we got some pointy teeth. This is really weird for me to draw angry Jean. I don't think I've ever drawn her this way. And I really can't even imagine her angry. On our first drawing, her hair is pointing downwards. Just the usual position, really. But here with our angry expression, I'm making the hair going a bit upwards. Still not too exaggerated, but both the hair and the, the ears are following the rest of the expression. I'm using them to intensify this emotion a little bit more. Now again, I'm going to fast forward this and finish up my expression so we can go for the next one. And bloop, we got here some magic happening. My drawing is all finished. So as you can see, there's definitely a difference of intensity here with our expressions. And the first one, Jean is just a little bit annoyed. Something isn't really going according to her likes. But the next one, she's really getting to her limit there. Which is very weird. If this happens to you with Jean, well, I would run. Because she's not one to get angry. Alright, so let's go then for our last angry expression which is a furious expression. So this is really, you can't get angrier than this. So once again, what is the main thing we notice here? The eyebrows, exactly. We have the eyebrows even more curved, tilting even more. We got our eyes, we got our nose. Also, if you notice here, I'm going just to give you some, show you the image a little bit more. We see here some wrinkles, right, in the nose as well. When we close our faces like this, when we scrunch up our nose and express very strong feelings, our face will start to wrinkle in specific spots. So this is something you can also use. Personally, it's not something that I use a lot. I like to keep things really simple, but I like to point these things out because this is something you can use in your drawings. If this is something that makes sense to you, then use it. If you like it, if it makes the whole drawing much better to you, then use it. Now, as for the mouth in a furious expression, and when I say furious, let's imagine that our character is probably screaming, we got our mouth open. However, if you notice, we still got basically this shape, like on a piece of lemon and it's turned downwards. So again, tilted eyebrows, curved mouth, everything going towards the floor. All right, let's see our other example. We got here Hal from Hal's Moving Castle. 
And as you can see, he's also really angry. So tilted eyebrows, the eyes. One thing also to pay attention here. As you can see, we got the outside of the eyes, right? And the eyes are smaller. So we got a lot of the white showing up. This is also something that you can play with. And we'll try that out in our drawing right after is playing with the size of the pupil of the eye. When it's bigger and you don't see a lot of the whites of the eye, the person is probably more or less calm or whatever they're feeling is not that strong. But when you see a lot of the white there, then something isn't right. <laughs> so this is something you can also play with. And again, we got here our mouth, open mouth, showing a whole lot of it. There we go. We got here the basics, right? Things that we can use in our own drawing. So again, it's our tilted eyebrows, maybe showing a bit more of the, the white part of the eye and an open mouth, showing not only the teeth, but also the tongue. Like the character really is screaming. It's not just going like, right? So I, I feel like this one has a bit more of a mm, I'm angry feeling and this one is really just straight up shouting. We don't see a lot of it here but you see the hair how it's spiky like I told you about in other videos we can use the hair and we also used a bit of our hair here right so let's play with that in our expression as well so so I'm going to draw the eyes the pupil of the eyes a bit smaller very tilted and close to the eyes eyebrows now, when doing these expressions, one thing to have into account is remember your character. Remember how your character is so they still look recognizable. So we got the eyebrows and the eyes, right? Now let's do the mouth. I want to exaggerate the mouth. So if you're drawing in a cartoony style, something you can do is forget about the loss. I know, usually if you're screaming, whatever you're doing, your mouth won't go outside your her face, right? It doesn't really make sense. However, we're doing a cartoony style. So I can do what I want. <laughs> Basically, that's it. And I'm going to draw a mouth so big, so angry that it's going outside of the face. Draw my ears even pointier. I'm a bit scared right now. All right, so all we are missing is the hair, right? So what are we going to do? Again, we're going to make the hair going a bit upwards. And usually I draw them like this, right? But let's take this idea of the spiky hair and use it in our drawing. There we go. You know someone's angry when their hair spikes up, right? <laughs> and we're going to do the same with the fringe here. That's why I erase it. There we go. And here we got three different intensities when it comes to an angry expression. And now I'm going to finish this up very quickly. Alright, so here we have it. We have all our angry expressions. Jean looks really, really scary. I've never seen her this scary. I don't think her of someone that will get easily angry. But here we go. <laughs> Practice as much as you can and have fun with it. Do things that might sound ridiculous, but do them anyways because sometimes they might work. So this is it for this video. These are all our angry expressions. I hope these were helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Click that bell button so you know when the next video is up. And as always, keep on drawing.